How's everyone doing? I'm back here again for a new update. I've got a lot of stuff to show off in this update. I've got some horror titles, I've got some era video titles, some Criterion Collection titles, I've got a, a bag of Blu-rays that my buddy Justin gave me. I also got a remake to the first horror movie that I ever saw. I finally added it to my collection and I want to talk a bit about that. I've also got a steelbook as well as a really cool horror figure and a horror t-shirt. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start off with all the movies that my buddy Justin gave me. He brought me a bag of Blu-rays to work uh, yesterday. Uh, we actually had to work uh, yesterday um, for a few hours. Uh, and one thing that's cool about all these Blu-rays, except for two of them, is that they're all UK releases, which is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first one I'm going to show is a movie that I uh, didn't own on Blu-ray. And that is the uh, the Sixth Sense. Once again, it's a UK release. Uh, pretty cool. But uh, they are region free. Um, he, uh, he does have a, a region one player, but uh, these all work in his player, so pretty cool. And, and now these next ones, I actually own all these movies um, in a uh, steelbook collection. But he thought that these would all look good on my shelf. So he gave these to me. Uh, it's all the Resident Evil movies, and one thing that's cool about this is that it is that they come with both um, the UK um, UK cover, and they also come with. Hang on, if I can open it up. Oh, they do have some uh, inside artwork. Some of them do, uh, but they also come with uh, the US artwork as well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this one out, but. Uh, now you can kind of see it, but they also come with uh, the U.S. artwork sleeve. Um, but yeah, these are cool. Um, I don't really know if there's really anything too different about these, other than the fact that, you know, they're the U.K. releases. And I don't know if they all have um, the alternate um, American artwork. I'm going to try to show this one off. Yeah, as you can see, this one also comes with the uh, American artwork underneath, which is cool. Um, I do like it when they change up the artwork, you know, for, um, you know, in releases um, in other parts of the world. But yeah, like I said, all the, all the Resident Evil movies in the final chapter. This one is I think this one's a, a U.S. Re or a U.K. release. I'm not really sure. Oh no, never mind. This one is the uh, this is the U.S. release. And then, yeah, this one's a U.K. release. So yeah, so he gave me all the Resident Evil movies, um, and he also gave me a uh, Blue Velvet, which was a movie I think I've only seen once. Um, really great film. And the last two things he gave me are the two Tron movies on Blu-ray. And these are just regular um, US releases, I think. Yeah. And they're both Blu-ray and DVD combo packs, so very, very cool. I have not seen any of the Tron movies. All right, and now I'm gonna talk about the remake. Um, this is the remake to the first horror movie I ever saw. So when I heard they were announcing it, you know, I was, I was skeptical about it, but that is Child's Play, and I have watched this, and I thought it was okay. Um, there were things about it that I did like, and there were some things about it that really bothered me. One thing about it is, I feel like this movie would have been better if it wasn't related to Child's Play. Because there really isn't too many connections to the original movie, other than the name of the characters, and the fact that the dolls kind of look like good guy dolls. But I thought it was a really cool idea that, you know, the new doll Buddy... Um, is, you know, they're, they're made by a company that, um, and they're AI uh, dolls where they can control and connect to other um, electronic items that the company that makes the dolls also make. And I thought that that was really cool to have an AI, you know, artificial intelligence doll, you know, uh, sort of becoming evil. Even though Chucky's not really evil in this one, um, the way that he's programmed at the beginning of the movie, he's not really evil, but... Um, you know, I, I thought it was okay. Um, I just didn't think that... I just felt like it would have been better if it wasn't related to Child's Play. Um, you know, there were things about it that I did like. But then there were things about it that also really bothered me. Um, so, I just think it's okay. I feel like if a... 
I might enjoy it more after a second watch, but as of right now, I just think it's okay. But after watching that, I will say I am more excited to see the TV series now. Alright, so now I'm going to move on. I'm going to show off the uh, the one steelbook that I got. And I got this at um, Barnes & Noble. Justin and I were there for the Criterion sale. And I did pick up a couple Criterions. Um, but I did see this in the Christmas section. And this was only $10, which was really good. It was originally $20, which I thought was kind of pricey for this. But this is one of my favorite Christmas movies. And when I saw this, I knew I had to get it. And it has the Polar Express... The Blu-ray Steelbook. Now I know that they also released a uh, the Christmas Vacation and a Christmas Story um, on Steelbooks, and I saw these at Best Buy. Um, I do like a Christmas Vacation, um, the artwork for that one, but I'm not a big fan of a Christmas Story. I like the image of Ralphie on it. It's it's him and his um in his cowboy outfit, but I don't like that Randy kind of looks like he's like um photoshopped in the background um so i wasn't a fan of that one but this one was definitely my favorite of the ones that they released i forget how long i know these these came out a few years back but first off i really like this front front image right here you know right when um the scene when tom Hanks goes this is the polar express I really like that I really like the back image it does look a little pixelated though like you can kind of tell that the uh the tree kind of looks kind of fuzzy i feel like they could have done better they could have done better with that but i do like the image and at the inside this is a blu-ray and dvd uh, combo which i thought was pretty cool and it's got that so yeah pretty cool and like i said it was only ten dollars which i thought for for barnes and noble that's a good price because you don't usually find you know i mean it was twenty dollars uh, brand new which I think is a bit expensive for these because I usually see these at Best Buy and they're usually I think like $12 I think 12 to 15 but um yeah I thought for $10 why not pick it up I do have it on blu-ray but I like this movie so much that I wanted it in a nice release so pretty cool now I want to show off the two criterions that I got I got one movie that I haven't seen and one movie that I have first I'll show off the one that I haven't seen Harold and Maude um, this is a movie I've heard uh, good things about. Um, I don't know too much about it, but it was a movie that I thought looked interesting, and so I picked it up. I really like that front cover right there. See ya. And then the next one is a movie that I have seen. I watched this in school, and I absolutely loved it. The Princess Bride. Um, now, one thing that is really cool about this is that it is actually a Digibook release, which I, um, Digibooks are one of my favorite things to collect, and I'm really happy that Criterion Collection is putting out, um, putting out Digibooks, and I really like the, uh, the front, it really does feel like a, um, an actual, uh, book, really love the cover right there, and, uh, yeah, like I said, I saw this movie, I've only seen it once, and I remember loving it, this movie has so many great lines, and, uh, yeah, this is just a really fun movie. And once again, really, really nice release. So, yeah. Next two titles are the two era video titles that I picked up. The first one is a movie I'm so happy that era video released a uh, standalone release for because they already released the first film, and I'm glad that they put out the second. And that is Hellbound Hellraiser 2. I love the first two Hellraiser movies, and Hellraiser 2 is definitely my favorite of the sequels. I haven't seen all the Hellraiser films. I think I've only seen up to six, um, but I'm really glad that they put out uh, Hellbound on its own individual release because they did put out the Scarlet Box that had the first three movies, and then they re-released the, uh, the first film on Steelbook, which I do have, so I am very happy that they released a standalone uh, Blu-ray release of Hellbound Hellraiser 2 because... I really like it, and I think it's one of the best um, horror sequels. So yeah, very happy to have that. And now the next one is a is another really great limited edition box set. Era Video does amazing work on their limited edition box sets, and they really just you know hit it out of the park with this release. An American World in London. Just look at that artwork. Such an awesome, awesome looking release. Um, and yeah, it just has the Blu-ray, um, the booklet, and I think it comes with a poster as well, but I might be wrong. They usually come with posters, but yeah, Era Vita just does amazing jobs on their limited editions. I don't have a whole lot. I only have The Hills Have Eyes 
and Donnie Darko. Um, but yeah, this is just an amazing release, and I'm very, very happy to um, pick this up. I really don't have a whole lot of era video titles, and I really want to start getting more of them because, you know, they've just been putting out so many amazing releases. You know, now that they've been releasing in the U.S. over the past few years, and they're just putting out awesome releases, so very happy to uh, add this to the collection. Now, next thing I'm going to show up is, uh, uh, is a, um, a release that I've been wanting. This is a Halloween um, title. This is actually Halloween 2. And this is a release that I've wanted ever since I saw it, but it's always been so expensive. Um, but I recently saw somebody selling these for a really great price on eBay, and I knew I had to jump on it. And this is the Halloween 2, the limited German steel case edition. And one thing that is very cool about this release is that if you press this little button right here, Yeah, very cool. The eyes light up and it plays the Halloween 2 theme, which I absolutely love. Um, like I said, this has been a release that I've been wanting for a very long time. It's just been really, really expensive. Um, but I managed to find uh, somebody selling brand new copies of them for a really, really good price. Um, this is my, I want to say, 6th or 7th release from Halloween of Halloween 2 in my collection. And all my favorite ones are German releases. Um, yeah, there's a spine right there in the back. Now one thing that's really cool about this release, other than um, you know, the eyes, you know, lighting up and playing the theme song, is on the back of the actual um me uh metal pack um is actually an image of the back of the pumpkin, which I thought was so cool. You know, it's it's just the image of the, the pumpkin. Um the back of the pumpkin, which I just thought was just such a an awesome um just such an awesome thing. Um let me show you guys the uh images on the back. Very, very cool. Now, as you guys can see, it is still sealed, and I'm actually planning on keeping it sealed for now because I already have so many other releases of Halloween 2. I really don't need to um, open this up right now. But like I said, um, you know, it just has an image of the pumpkin on the back, and on the inside, it does have um, an image of Michael chasing Lori. Um, it's right when she um, when he starts to chase her. I think after he kills uh, the nurse. And um, she starts to get up from the ground. And so she's kind of slunched over in the image. And you see him walking um, towards her. It's that scene. Um, and that's uh, behind the disc. But on the other side of the, um, the case is the battery pack for the uh, light up eyes and the, uh, you know, and, and, the mu and the music. So, um, you, know, uh, you know, other than that, um, the main reason why I got this is because of the light up eyes. And... Um, you know, I really don't need to watch this. I don't know if the Blu-ray is region free or not. It might not be. Um, not seen it, but I do plan on keeping this sealed um, for a while because, like I said, I don't you know, plan, and I'm not planning on you know um, turning it on and and having and um, because you know I don't know how long these uh, these things usually last. So I do plan on keeping it sealed for now. Um, if I ever do a um, decide to open it, I will do a video opening it up and showing it off. But if you are curious, there are plenty of other videos um, where you can see people showing this off. So for now, I'm going to keep it sealed, but very happy to finally own this release in my collection. Alright, now the next thing I'm going to show off is another Halloween item, and this is a t-shirt. I got this at um, Hot Topic, and I was very happy to get this because I absolutely love um, the image on the shirt. This is a Fright Rags t-shirt, I think. Um... Hold on a second, I think it, yeah, it is, it's a Fright Rags, but, yeah, this is just an awesome Halloween t-shirt, and here it is right here, look at that, it's an awesome image of Michael right here, holding the knife, and then you got the classic pumpkin from the, uh, the opening scene, and I just absolutely love that, I, I just, I just love this design, and I'm just, when I saw this, I knew I had to get it, very, very cool, um, like I said, this is a, uh, Fright Rags shirt, um, so, you know, if you don't have a Hot Topic near you, you can always just order this online um, from them. But, yeah, really, really awesome shirt. And just very happy to have another Halloween shirt in the collection. Alright, guys, and now the last thing I'm going to show off is the horror figure. And one thing that's really cool is I got this at Walmart. My Walmart is starting to sell NECA. 
and I'm just very, very happy that they are. Um, my Justin actually told me that they were selling them, and I'm really happy that, that Walmart is finally selling NECA figures, you know, because, um, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, want them, and, you know, it's cool that you're able to go into Walmart and get them instead of having to order them online. I know Target has been selling them for a long time as well, um, but I'm just really happy that Walmart has gotten into it. Now, they only had a few of the, they had a few of the NECA Ultimate figures. They had Chucky from Bride of Chucky, which I don't need because I already have the other Ultimate Chucky figure. Um, they had the Jason from Part 3, uh, which I do want to get. And then they had this one, the Evil Dead 2 Ash figure. I absolutely love this figure. Uh, first off, I love the box. I love the design of the box. I love the white background. And you know, and you got the uh, the classic skull image. Um, and the eyes are really cool and shi you know, shiny and red. Just looks absolutely awesome. And the Evil Dead 2 right here, just, you know, the red just pops. I absolutely love the design of the box. And on the spine right here, you know, it says Evil Dead 2 in white. And then it kind of looks like a you know, blood all the way around. Really, really awesome. Here's the back. And then, here's the actual figure itself, which, like I said, I think it looks absolutely awesome. Let me give you guys a close-up look at it. So nicely detailed. And it does come with the, uh, the Necronomicon. As well as his boomstick and the uh, the dagger that uh, his hand uses as at the end of the movie to stab um um for I'm forgetting I'm forgetting her name in Evil Dead 2, but uh, that to stab her at the end of the movie and then it comes with uh, two heads very very cool absolutely love this figure I do think it would have been cool if they also included his hand. Um, as well, like, a, you know, his hand with, like, a bloody, you know, like, a bloody stump. I think it would have been cool if they also, um, you know, included his hand. In this. And then you got this great image of him. There, like that. Very, very cool. Actually, this is from the first Evil Dead, so. Like that, uh. Because isn't that. No, never mind, never mind, I'm getting confused. Um, I thought that, I thought that that, um, figure was from, uh, was of somebody else, but yeah, such an awesome figure, and I'm very happy to have it in the collection. I do have the, uh, the 18-inch figure from Army of Darkness, and I have the, um, uh, the Movie Maniacs Ash from Army of Darkness as well, and I've been wanting to get a, uh, figure from, um, Evil Dead 2. And I'm just very, very happy to, to have it. And like I said, I'm very happy that a Walmart um, is finally getting out naked figures. They also have some other cool figures that I've seen as well. Um, some other horror, like they have a couple Pennywise and um, Freddy Krueger figures. I'll have to check those out. Um, I'm mostly interested in collecting the, the, the NECA Ultimate figures. Those are the ones that I kind of want to stick with. These and the Movie Maniac figures are definitely um, the ones that I'm um, trying to you know collect the most. But... Um, yeah guys, so that's my new update. I know this was a long video and I showed off a lot, but I wanted to talk a bit about, um, you know, a lot of things that I, I got. Um, so yeah guys, let me know what you guys think about everything I showed off in this video. Um, I was originally going to wait until after Black Friday to do this video, but um, I didn't know, I, I like to, you know, keep, I like to post at least one video a week, and I knew if I waited until after Black Friday, I wouldn't post a video today. Um, so I decided to go ahead and post this today because there was a lot and I knew that this would be a long video. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing on Black Friday. I am off of work on Black Friday, so I don't know if, you know, we'll run anywhere. If we do, it'll probably be Walmart. But to be honest, I'm probably just going to be looking on Amazon, you know, it, it, you know, because, you know, they usually have better deals. And, uh, you know, as far as movie, as for movies, of course, of course, I'm just going out for Black Friday for movies. I might stop by a Big Lots, so, um, maybe Big Lots and maybe Walmart, and that'll probably be it, but everything else will probably be from Amazon, because, you know, I'd rather, you know, shop online than have to deal with the people, and, and I think that that's what's, it, what's going to be the future of Black Friday shopping is just online, 
you know, because it, it bees going out. I mean, unless there's a specific thing you want from a specific store, I mean, you can pretty much get anything online now, so I don't really see any reason in going out. Dealing with the people, dealing with the cold, you know, I'm probably just, you know, like I said, I might, we might run to a couple places, and then we might, um, but for the most, you know, for the most part, I'm probably just going to get whatever I get online. If I get anything, you know, I've already got a lot of stuff, so I might get, you know, a couple things if there's anything that, you know, if I find a deal that I really want, um, then I'll probably just get it from Amazon. Um, but other than that, you know, we might go to a couple places. If we do, I will do a video um, showing off whatever I get on Black Friday. If we do go out on Black Friday, and if not, then I'll wait until whatever I order comes in. But anyway, guys, thanks everyone for watching. Let me know what you guys think about everything I showed off in this video. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or join my movie collecting Facebook group, links to those will be down in the description box below. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday, and I'll see you guys in the next video.